What's up guys, welcome to Savage Gaming and our second episode of Star Citizen. So, like in the last video, I promised to show you guys what's in the universe. So, we covered the hangar, um, we've covered electronic access, which is uh, the uh, arena commander and star marine, which is not yet in the game. And we've got the universe. Now, a lot of guys get stuck here. The first option, obviously, you want to choose is going to be the Area 18 Arc Corp. Now, one must remember, a lot of guys go into this area thinking, ah, oh, they're in Star Citizen. Um, you are, but you aren't. And the reason why is Area 18 is almost like a, a lobby type of area. So you're going to be able to show, like meet new players and talk to them and chat with them on the Area 18 um, server. But you can't fly anywhere, you can't really do much, there's not a lot, a lot to do at this stage, but it is going to grow with uh, future updates. The, the, the core crux, the, the heart of the game at this stage is in Crusader. So we're going to click on Crusader. We're going to say quick join because we don't have, I don't have any contacts, um, so I don't have any friends hosting any sessions or whatever, so I'm literally going public into the server and whoever's there is there so we click on quick join we click on launch and it'll push us into the game now just to try and speed up the loading i might fast forward this video um if it doesn't take too long then yeah cool then it doesn't take too long but it might take a while so i'll fast forward it Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I fast forwarded for you guys. It did take a little while to load. Um, so I am where we spawn in Port Olisar. Now, you've got a little bed. That's where you spawn from. Uh, you've got a locker to change from a, a civilian clothing to a spacesuit, And then you can head out. So we're, we're going to head out. Um, you can spawn anywhere along this passage. So don't think it's going to be, or don't expect it to be exactly the same as my thing. Uh, as you can see, here's different ones. There's another guy who just spawned. So yeah, it's it's uh, a, sort of like a universal spawning area. Now, you're going to see as you come out, it says Easy Hab, Deck 3. Uh, there's some looking like uh, they're doing some construction here. You wanna gonna head, you're going to want to head downstairs. So let's run downstairs to Deck 2 and we're going to see, oh, look through that window. There's some nice things there. So we're going to head down there. Sorry for the frame rate issues, guys. With recording software running and having a slightly slower internet connection, it is a little bit glitchy, but um, I think it's 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 watchable. So we're going to walk up to this door. Right. So here we are at the ship deck. You'll see this big planet and other planets revolving around it, sort of like a hologram. So you're going to pop to one of these computer screens. Any one of them is fine. You're going to want to press F to use it. It's then going to bring up the ships that you like to request. So I am going to request my Hornet. Um, and then I'm going to say at the bottom here, request ship. So all left click, simple stuff. Uh, why is it requesting my ship? There we go. So, I'm at landing pad C01. So, it's quite simple. Look on the walls. You'll see there is landing pad 09, 528. Oh, it looks like the server's quite busy. So, we might get some frame rate issues, guys. We're going to 01. So, we're going to run through here. 01 is going to be this way. And here is the airlock door. Just... Uh, Use the airlock door will open, and remember, guys, to use something or to interact is F. F for Freddy. You also have to hit this little console once you're in the airlock to let it know that you you want to go out there. Now we're going to follow the signs. We're at zero one, so we're going to go up here. 
And this is what I love. I mean, look how this planet is absolutely ginormous. I mean, wow. We're sitting in its orbit. This is the landing pad. There's someone's uh, hornet there. And there's our hornet. You can see the blue bit around it there, or the blue uh, label. That is our hornet. Um, for those of you that bought the hornet, you can't get in from the uh, right hand side. You have to go around. Go to the left hand side. And you can then enter your hornet. This is the Port Oli Star, Oli Star uh, Space Station. Um, so this is where you're going to default or spawn by default at this stage. And uh, you're right next to this huge planet. Um, it looks very cool. Hoping uh, we can we can land on planet soon. I know they're talking about it in the game. So we're going to get there shortly. So let's enter our uh, Hornet. So you're going to want to press F. And your character will automatically enter the Hornet. Aerospace. All systems online. Okay, so we've got a confirmation that everything's online. Now we're going to hit space bar uh, to, to sort of strafe upwards, if I can put it to you that way. So now we've taken off, we're going to want to retract our landing gear. So we are going to push the letter N for Nelly, Nelly the elephant. Landing gear raised. Okay, so our landing gear is raised. We can see other places here. There's uh, Swag Delf. Okay. Um, basically, what you're going to do here is you you now need to sort of find a way where to go, what to do. You know, you know. There's there's nothing showing up in front of us. So you know, as you can see, it's it's pretty blank. So there's two ways of doing this. Yeah. Um, if you're pretty familiar with the game, I don't have to explain it to you. But if you're new to the game, what you need to do is press F1. So if we press F1, it's going to bring up the, the Moby Glass. You want to go to the Mission Manager. And then you're going to see a whole bunch of missions here on the left. So we can do a private investigation. We can repair these arrays. Or we can do some ICC assistance. But uh, what I'll do, I think the first thing you guys are going to try, it's the easiest. Um, it's decent money. Let's do an array. So I'm going to choose array 730, okay? So randomly choose that. Uh, so it's basically saying they're looking for us to repair it. We say, cool, to take down the Moby Glass, we press F1 again. All right. Then we're going to press the letter B for Barry. And that is going to bring everything up. Now you'll see there's the Comray, Com, uh, Com Array. And it's got a sort of a, a triangle surrounding it. Scanning. That's showing that um, that's our target. There are other comma arrays in the area. So you'll see there, there's a comma array. It's just a diamond. If you go to this comma array, it's got a diamond with the triangle around it. So that's the one we want to go to. So in order to get there, you need to engage quantum uh, your quantum drive. Now, a lot of guys go, uh, how do I engage it? You say you press F. And there you go. Remember, when you press F, you have to be going at some sort of speed. Otherwise, it won't work. So you have to be going in a forward direction to some extent. All right, so here we are at the com link, uh, or the up link, and we scanning. need to repair it. Boogie, so, scanning. You chose the wrong Boogie, scanning. Okay, we've got pirates. Now, what we need to do is you press the letter T uh, for, for Terry, and it'll... It'll automatically target some Out. pirates for you. Shields, Shields, so I'm going to take care of these pirates quickly for us. You can guys can get a little bit of a combat view. If you watch the reticle, I'm not exactly aiming for this guy. I, I'm aiming a bit ahead of him. Um, you'll see now. Let's see if this guy accelerates. Alright, I'll destroy it. So anyway, but you'll see that you've got two recticles. So this 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 center recticle I've got now is one that is um, 
unique to the Hornet at this stage that I'm aware of, that you have to sort of really move Shield your mouse or move your joystick to be able to get the ship to turn. And uh, where that helps is in this area, I can target anywhere I want here without having to turn my ship. So that's nice for, for battles. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to restore an uplink. Um, it's very easy. You go to where it says, yeah, restore uplink. So, you know, you don't want to be on that side of the, 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 the comma ray. You want to be on this side. So we're going to go towards it now quickly. You don't want to accelerate too much. You'll see on the left um, of the center glass panel is my speed. So I'm currently going at 91. So I just want to get close up and then I want to start slowing down. And I've now slowed down to a complete halt. All right, so once we're at a complete halt, we want to exit our ship. So we're going to hold F. Warning, systems overheating. Don't worry about that, guys. It's not a problem. All right, now we're in EVA mode. Now, EVA mode is the um, mode where you're flying in space. Uh, also, like a first-person shooter, WASD, it's all cool. Um, but if you want to go a bit faster, hold shift and I'll show you guys now. So now we're going to go faster, but you need to you need to slow down. It takes a little bit of getting used to because you can collide into things and you can die. Um, if we go up here into this little area, you'll see there it says restore uplink. We're going to go down here. And we're going to say use. Uplink online. There we go. You've restored your first uplink. And now you must get back safely. And we head back out. And we head back to our ship. So heading back to your ship. Same thing. You can use shift to sprint. Just be careful you don't overshoot it. Get to your ship. Use the use button or the F button. And your character will climb back into their ship. Shields charging. Scanning. Scanning. There we go, guys. That's how to repair a comm array, and that is my first tutorial on Star Citizen. I hope you guys, or my second one, I should say, um, this is a little bit of the universe. I'll show you guys a bit more in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoy my videos, and just uh, drop a comment if you want me to make a video on something else. Thanks, guys. Cheers.